The interactive feedback page can look significantly different depending on what encoder type you use. For basic differential quadrature encoders like what I am using on my DC brushless motor, you will see three regions. The upper left region describes the raw encoder position captured in the gate, the encoder loss detection status bit, which is high if there has been an illegal quadrature state detected, the result of the encoder conversion table processing this encoder, and then the actual position and velocity of the motor. The bottom left region describes the direction of the encoder, which can be set to counterclockwise positive or clockwise positive. The encoder conversion table scale factor, which helps PMAC to scale the encoder's raw counts in the upper bits of the encoder register to actual floating point position that PMAC can use for servo. And then the position and velocity input scale factors, which you can use to arbitrarily scale the feedback value. This is optional. On the right hand side, you will see a plot of the encoder position. At this stage, you should rotate the motor's shaft by hand, and you should see changes in the plot corresponding to the motion you induced. Watch as I rotate my motor's shaft. You should be able to see positive motion on the graph corresponding to the positive encoder direction you specified in the bottom left section of this page, and negative motion in the opposite direction. If you see this, your encoder is working properly, and you can move on to the rest of the setup. If you don't see this, you may want to repeat some of the previous steps to make sure you've set everything up correctly. If you have an absolute encoder, there will be fields here for configuring the source of the absolute position, its format, and other settings related to the specific encoder type you have. If you are happy with these settings, click on the next arrow.